Cherviet. June. The month of Cherviet takes its name from Cherviet Polski, known in English as Polish cochineal, a small insect that was once used to produce red dye. Known colloquially as St. John's blood, material produced of this colour was widely traded during the Middle Ages and Renaissance and considered of high value. For this reason, the word for the colour red in Polish is czerwone. And the etymology of all the aforementioned words is derived from the old Slavic word czerw, which once referred to any kind of larvae. And when do larvae like cochineal start laying their eggs? That's right, in czerwiec. The first day of czerwiec is International Children's Day, first introduced in Poland in 1952. And the first week of the month is a time for festivities organised in parks and other entertainment centres for children. The first half of Czerwiec also sees the observance of Boże Ciało, or Corpus Christi, a Catholic celebration known for its characteristic processions between the Stations of the Cross, each symbolising the path of Jesus to his imminent crucifixion. Poland does things in its own colourful way, complete with traditional costumes and other pageantry. On a completely different note, the second half of Czerwiec welcomes the start of summer, and those old pagan traits that Poland can't seem to let go of come into play once again. Noc Kupała, or Kupala Night, is an old Slavic celebration that is better known in Poland as Vianki referencing the traditional flower wreaths that young women still wear on special occasions, even now in the 21st century. Vianki has since been adopted into the Christian tradition of Noc Świętojańska, or St. John's Night, though the paganness of it all remains popular during celebrations in cities like Kraków and Gdynia, the latter of which is a fully blown beach party and concert. In the midst of all these cultural and religious celebrations, we mustn't forget that the 23rd of Czerwiec is Father's Day, or Dzień Ojca. And just for the record, in order to be a real man in Polish society, you must build a house, plant a tree, and have a son. Though in the 21st century, we're pretty sure we can extend that privilege to having daughters as well. Last but not least, the end of Czerwiec and the start of Lipiec, or July, is strawberry season in Poland, and Poland have some damn good strawberries. If you're interested in other quirks that go down in Poland at this time of the year, make sure you check out our 10 signs that summer has reached Poland video, link in the description. So what does your Czerwiec look like? Are you particularly religious? Or perhaps you're more tempted by the pagan rituals on offer? Leave a comment below, and while you're at it, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, just remember to click the bell for notifications. And you can join the Poland In Your Pocket community on Instagram and Facebook. We look forward to seeing you next month. Do zobaczenia!